what's up guys and welcome to my channel so if you are new here hi my name is Skylar I do a lot of acne videos makeup videos um, I like to vlog every now and then when I feel the need to um, I have cystic acne so if you need to know anything about acne I'm your girl okay so today I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I got off Amazon during quarantine because I've been addicted to Amazon like I mean like addicted to Amazon okay because I mean I have nothing else to do all I do is drink wine sometimes tequila shotgun a few beers and then Amazon just pops up on my phone and then I'm like hey <laughs> where how, how you been girl how you doing and then I just push add to cart and then place my order and it's here like two days later also i'm looking ratchet as hell okay let me just show you the the fit because we're still in quarantine okay but i decided to do my makeup because i haven't done my makeup in so long and my texture is so freaking bad but it's okay because from afar she a baddie just don't get up close okay so this is a jacket shout out to jose um i took it out of his truck because i was cold one time at a restaurant and i just never gave it back so there we go Underneath I have my boyfriend's shirt that he's also not going to get back. And then my legs are white as shit and I have on some Victoria's Secret shorts. So, and then I have comfy socks with some slides that my brother got me. So we're not judging the fit, okay? All you guys are going to see is from here up. So that's all that matters. If you're the person that left this jacket in Jose's truck, I'm sorry. You can't have it back, so don't ask. The first one, this is not going to be in any particular order, okay? I'm just going to kind of show you as we go along in this video um the first thing i ordered is this okay for those of you who don't know this is how you shotgun drinks not sodas other drinks okay so basically let me demonstrate okay so pretend like this morphe setting spray is your lovely drink okay we're gonna say it's truly right now okay so you put this up underneath here and then it you 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 like do like this and you press down and it pops a hole in it right and then you can use the other side of this thing and it you put it underneath so you'll hold it okay it's really heavy because there's not my keys but normally it's way easier you put this so there's a hole right here right because you just popped it you turn it around and then you slide this under the tab and then you you know Chug, 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 chug. I might demonstrate if y'all are lucky. Probably not, but whatever. So this is really cool. And then this side is a bottle opener. But I got two or not uh, twelve of them. I got five of them for like thirteen dollars. Tell me why Full Sin sells them ten dollars a piece. Those are the ones that I was gonna get. And then I found these because the other, the full send ones were sold out. Thank God. Cause I was gonna get them for all my friends, which is five people. Cause you know, <laughs> why give them to all the guys? And that would have been $50, but I spent $12 and all of us got one and they're badass and we eat, they're all different colors. Okay, so I got that little shotgun thingy. And then the one that I am most <laughs> proud of and I will literally buy every single person in my family one of these. Mom, I know you're watching this. I might buy you one. I most likely will because you need it, okay? Any of you guys need this if you are an adult because this is a freaking, do y'all know what this is? This is a collapsible laundry basket, okay? I literally was on my hands and knees begging Anthony to buy it. He didn't tell me yes, so I bought it my damn self, okay? Because this thing is freaking phenomenal. Okay, look, it's flat. I have a little thing, a little screw in the wall, and I just hang it up, you know? So she just chills up against the wall behind the door, so you can't, like, whenever you open the door, it doesn't hit it. All you do is, so I prop this one on my leg usually, and then you press one side, flip it, press the other and now you have a laundry basket and this is like the perfect size like I do a lot of laundry and as I take it out either I just throw it in here or I like to like halfway fold it while it's in here that way whenever I come to my room it's not just like a pile of clothes and then I just keep stacking it on top I just 
come in here, lay it on my bed. How, if you guys can see, all of that is right there. It's like half ass folded. And I'll just put it up, unless you procrastinate and film the video instead like I'm doing. Then to fold it back down, I don't know, it's gonna be kinda hard for you guys to see, but you just press each side down. Come on. And then boom! She's flat again, like what the hell? This is so nice because I had those big bulky plastic ones and then when I'm done with it, I'm like, okay, it's empty, like where do I put it? And then it looks ugly everywhere you try to put it. So this one, it's white and it's gray, there's different colors, it hangs on your wall, in your laundry room, you can't even see it. Or you can just slide it in between something in your closet and like, boom, there you go. Next up, we have air plants. Have you guys ever heard of an air plant? No? Okay, well let me educate you, okay? There's this little plant and she, she just, she just, she doesn't need soil, okay? So she's not dirty. You spray her with some water every now and then. All right, these are live and real, by the way. I don't know if you can tell, but they're alive, they're real. And you just spray it with water every now and then and it stays alive. It isn't, it literally just grows in air. That's why it's called an air plant, okay? But I got a variety pack. I got five of them or four of them or something. I'll link it for you guys. But these are the two that I have in my hands right now. Now, the coolest part is, so I got these on Amazon. Everything I got, I got on Amazon, obviously. I got three of these little hands and they're air plant holders. Like, how freaking cute. And you literally just have your little hand and then you just set her in there however you want. I usually have her like this so you can see her. Can you all see that? No, stop focusing on me. Focus on the plant, there we go. So y'all see this? Like that is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. There's one of them. And then here's another one. Kind of just set her in there. She's looking all cute and whatnot. Wow. We love her. I've been trying to upgrade my kitchen, okay? So, recently, I have bought, okay, this is a little bit of a two-in-one, okay? But I bought them separate, but I'm gonna show you together because they kinda go to, okay, anyways. I bought this acrylic container, okay? I have all my vegetables in here. We got some cilantro, some peppers, some onions, some jalapenos, some limes, some tomatoes, all that good stuff. So I got this little cheap little acrylic thing. They come in a bunch of different sizes, but I got it for inside of my fridge. I also bought these little bags, reusable like Ziploc bags. So let me show you guys. Okay, so these um, Ziploc baggies, they come in three different sizes. There's the yellow one, the orange one, which these are very similar. The orange one is a little bit longer. And then there's the small green one. Um, and I absolutely love these, especially for vegetables. You can't really put like entire like onions in there or entire tomatoes, but it, once you cut it up, you can fit them in here. Um, but I personally just keep them in a regular Ziploc bag until I dice them up and I put them in here. I like to use these um, for whenever I cut up my peppers or my cilantro or like celery or like something like that that is a little bit smaller. Um, or my grandma, she likes to dice onions um, and put them in everything that she eats. So whenever she dices them up, I usually put them in this little green bag. That way the next time she doesn't have to cut them every single time, they're already diced up. These are also dishwasher safe. The only thing that I don't like about these is like I already said, you can't fit like an entire onion um, or tomato or something like that in there because they do open pretty wide, but it'll be hard to close them. So like, like, I don't know how to explain it, but they're pretty wide. It's just, they would be a little hard to close. The last, or not the last item, but the last like kitchen-y type item are these. This is a silicone sponge. They come in a pack of seven, I wanna say. They're all different colors. And these things are so freaking cool. So for starters, they're dishwasher safe. So, you know, you're washing your dishes, it gets all nasty, you need to clean it, you just throw it in the dishwasher and boom. It's clean, it's sanitized, it's good, it's ready to go. It also comes in a pack of seven, like I said, so if you do wear one out, you know, I mean, I don't know how you would, but if you do, um, 
you just get a different one. I mean, simple as that. You can also use these as oven mitts. So like, you know, you're pulling a pan out of the oven. You can, I mean, they're a little small, but like it works, you know. Um, you can use them for, to clean your makeup brushes. You can use them to wash your dishes. You can use them to open up jars because they're, it's like grippy. You can use, I've used this, or I use this one in particular to wash my face because my mom actually told me, she was like, why don't you use them to wash your face? Because whenever she came over, I gave her one because she was very, very fascinated with it. I gave her the yellow one. So you're welcome, mom. But she called me and she was like, hey, I was thinking like, why can't you use that to wash your face? Like, you know, whenever you look up like a face sponge or a face washing sponge at silicone, you pretty much get a smaller version of this. But this is like a quarter of the price because you get a pack of seven for like eight dollars or ten dollars or something like that. But if you go to buy a face washing sponge, you get one of them for like ten dollars or fifteen dollars. So I was like, what the heck? So I've been using this to wash my face. It's really good to like scrub your back. Phenomenal. Usually I use the Eco Tools like exfoliating like towel type thing. But um, I've been using this and I absolutely love it. And once again, it is dishwasher safe. So whenever I feel like it's time to wash it, I just pop it in the dishwasher. And the hot water, it sterilizes it and stuff like that. So it is absolutely phenomenal. It also has this little hook thing on here. So you can hang dry it. Um, so that way, I mean, it's hard to build bacteria because it is silicone, which is extremely good. But you can hang dry it so there's not just water just sitting on it. I also got a, um, I've had a recent obsession with succulents. So with quarantine going on, I've been just painting stuff around my house, like randomly. Um, a lot of the decor that we got was handed down to us by Anthony's parents, which for those of you who don't know, Anthony is my boyfriend. A lot of the decor got handed down. They have a completely different style than I do. Um, they like, like the reddish colors and like the the uh, antique look I guess or like the renaissance look I don't really know how you would explain it but that's what they like and I like super modern I like everything to be black white gray or a neutral color I like wooden stuff I like you know succulents I like simple I don't like anything on my countertops that's just how I am um so I basically I basically took all the decor that they gave us and I painted it to make it my own because that's just what I do. I love doing little DIY projects and stuff like that. So I will insert a picture of the succulents that I bought. Okay guys, really quick. This is the succulent holders that I got. This is it, um, like how it comes. This is detachable on it and this is glass. Um, I just super glued them onto this thing because I ended up painting these. Um, I have two of them, but that one I'm gonna put our last name on it. So yeah, this little succulent I got from the dollar store. It was like $2 and I just bent it and stuck it in there. And then this one, I'm going to get a one that you can put inside of it, and then it's going to hang over the side. So yeah, it just comes with just this right here. And it comes with a little hook thing that you can screw into the wall um, so you can hang it from there. Um, I also bought these little white rocks that I put in our centerpiece on our coffee table. Soon we're going to get a new coffee table, so ignore the coffee table. But... Um, I got the little white rocks off of Amazon um, that I put inside of the little tray. The gray and black tray, I actually painted it myself. And then the centerpiece, um, it was just a little glass like bowl vase thing that I got from Goodwill. And I put sand from the dollar store and a succulent from the dollar store inside of it and kind of tilted it to the side and propped it up with the rocks. Um, and then I got the little candles from the dollar store as well. But yeah, so those are all, I think, all of the Amazon products that I ended up buying throughout quarantine. I'm telling you, I literally just sit on my phone and Amazon pops up and I will literally stay on Amazon for like hours just searching for stuff. I have a list for every single room in my house of what I want and stuff like that. So whenever I end up, you know, bored or especially when I'm drinking, I get on Amazon and I end up ordering stuff. So yeah, oh, I also, one another kitchen thing I got is a little egg holder. I know it sounds so weird and so stupid. It's literally just an acrylic tray, just like that one, but it's an egg holder. I'll insert it right here, um, cause it's literally in my fridge and I don't wanna get up. But yeah, it's so cute and so nice and it has a lid on top of it so I can put 
um, stuff on top of it. Like before I had the egg holder underneath and then I had this acrylic bin with all my vegetables on top and it's super, super easy to access and it stops your eggs from getting broken. You can see how many you have um, instead of having to open it up every single time. So when I know whenever I'm getting low and I can buy more and etc. So yeah. But that is it. That is all the Amazon finds that I got during quarantine. And I'm so happy with literally every single one. If I had to recommend one product to you, if you're an adult, get this basket. Like, it is so convenient. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have everything that I talked about listed down below in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, if you guys like Amazon videos, let me know because I live on Amazon and I stay on it and I bought so much stuff. I bought most of my filming equipment. I bought a lot of um, like household items. I bought kitchen stuff. I've bought decor. I've bought all kinds of shit on Amazon. So if you guys want to see more videos, just let me know. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.